We have a president of the United States lecturing the chairman of the Fed. I know you're not going to speak specifically about another bank, but it seems right now that the banks are bouncing off the politics of the moment, nation to nation, bank to bank. How do you observe within your history of cooperation this idea of politics bouncing into uh, a monetary policy? Well, I think that this is this varies this this varies over time, and it also varies over time from country uh, country to country, and that really basically depends on what's going on in a particular country at a given given mo moment in time. I mean, talking about my own country presently, uh, given that there is a lot of work going on trying to form a government, uh, basically monetary policy is completely completely in the shadow because uh, on the political side there are many many other much more pressing issues. But it hasn't been always like that. So once in a while, kind of monetary policy pops up and ends up on the political agenda, but mostly not. Governor, we were just speaking with Mr. Norman of J.P. Morgan about the linkages of your bank to the continent of Europe and the idea that Mr. Draghi, with that stunning Bloomberg headline of saying he would delay, he would signal a dovish stance well into 2019. How did you adapt to the reality of the head of the European Central Bank pausing well into 2019. Well, I mean, it's hard to. I mean, it's it's up to the ECB people to to conduct uh, monetary policy on the EMU side, and weren't re really dealing with that at all. But being sort of a next door neighbor to an elephant, what they do matters to us. Uh, but on the other hand, our projections presently tell us that it's time for us to raise the policy rate either in December or in, or in February. And that's because the Swedish economy is doing well. And by, uh, by doing that, then we will meet our inflation target. And I think that that's because, relatively speaking, if you compare to us to the Eurozone, that we have done in terms of growth term in terms of growth and also the inflation rate a little bit better and that means that there is a certain there will be a certain element of decoupling so uh, governor in your mind are you more certain about it tightening now than you were last month a month ago Well, in the sense that we're getting closer, and, and we have pretty much said the same, the same thing for quite a while now, and that means that uh, given that things, if things are now close to what we have said for a number of months now, then we are, of course, getting closer to, to, the, time to, to the time when it's, it's time to move in a different direction and, and start, uh, start a rising cycle. Uh, so in that sense, uh, we are more certain today than, let's say, six months ago or nine months ago. But, but because the global economy seems a bit shakier, do you think you, you actually need to push through with the hike maybe in December to make sure that you have enough ammunition to deal with whatever comes next? Well, I mean, that, that's, that's a very strange way of thinking about monetary policy because it's pointless to raise the policy rate just to be able to lower it later. I mean, basically, with an inflation target, uh, we do as best as we can, we're trying to meet our inflation target. So, so that's not not at all the perspective the perspective that we have. It's hard for it's it's hard to promise too much uh, when it comes to December or February. And at this juncture, we are ready to say December or February, but we're not ready to go uh, go beyond that. So, so what data points will you look at you know, from now until December? Again, you, you have a very delicate balance because you've had to revise that down growth. You've also had to raise unemployment forecasts. So how can you be so sure that inflation and the desired wage gains will take place? Well, you never know when, when you are looking into the future. But so far uh, this year, we have been reasonably uh, reasonably right, and and based on uh, based on that, something major would have to happen for for us to change our uh, outlook when it comes to the policy rate. 